jump straight into how I keep my shoes clean. When they get dusty, I'll use a microfiber cloth to wipe them clean. I find this much more effective than a really big furniture duster or something like that. Next, I'll take a spare clean makeup brush and use this to dust any little crevices or hard to reach parts of the shoe. My next cleaning method is using a baby wipe or gentle makeup wipe to remove any dirt, scuffs or other marks. Generally, I only do this for my white sneakers. Always be wary of the ingredients of the wipe you are using just to be sure it's safe to use on your shoes. Obviously, you wouldn't use these on shoes with a fuzzy, soft or fabric-like texture, only smooth textures like the shoes I'm cleaning here. For any really stubborn marks, I will very gently remove them with some nail polish remover on a cotton bud. Now I have to say, please be very, very careful if you do this yourself. Keep in mind, I've done this many times before on these exact same shoes, so I know it's safe. Don't use this method on any other textures or on any really precious or expensive shoes. This is just something that works wonders for me, so I wanted to share it with you guys. Nail polish remover can be pretty strong, so just use your best judgment and always test a small area of the shoe first. And will you look at that? They are looking so much better. If the laces of my sneakers are looking pretty grubby, I like to freshen them up by replacing them with a brand new pair. Alternatively, I'll put some water, bleach, and some Oxy Action Stain Remover like Vanish into a bucket and I'll soak the laces in this mixture overnight. Even if the rest of the shoe isn't in the best condition, a fresh pair of laces can make a massive difference. My next tip is for keeping the insides of your shoes clean and fresh. Even if you prefer to wear some lower cut shoes without socks, it's really important to still wear sockets or footlets like these. I like these cotton ones because they are discreet and the texture isn't too slippery. These help absorb some of the sweat and odor from your feet so the shoe interior remains fresh. There are plenty of DIY methods for keeping your shoes fresh, like using kitty litter, tea bags, bicarb soda, dryer sheets, freezing your shoes, etc. But I still strongly recommend wearing sockets or socks with shoes that you can wear them with because it will just really help avoid any irreversible damage. You can even add some cheap removable insoles that you can wash or switch up every now and then for extra protection. On the topic of insoles, remove your shoes insoles after you wear them to let them air out. If your shoes don't have removable insoles, that's okay, but I think it's mainly important for shoes that you're going to sweat in, like my workout shoes right here for example. Even just pulling them out halfway to let them fully air dry keeps them a little bit fresher. Every couple of weeks I'll wash my insoles as well. Although I no longer purchase new leather products, I occasionally use a leather conditioner and cleaner to clean my white shoes. This is effective if it's done often from when these shoes are new, so it won't have a drastic effect on shoes that are already very stained or yellowed. An even better way to prevent yellowing on shoes, especially white sneakers, is to place them inside a large Ziploc bag to help prevent oxidization. In addition to this, I place them in a cupboard away from the light. Now, I know this might be a little bit tedious to do for shoes that you wear very often, but it really comes down to how expensive or special the shoes are to you. I've had these shoes for over a year now and they look pretty much identical to when I first bought them. So there you have my best tips on how I keep my shoes fresh in more ways than one. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys later.